We start with the show of Heroes Reborn and as well you might have seen him in the Saw 3D movies. To the end we've got my man over here, Mark Taylor. You guys might remember him from a show called Sleeping Bodies and as well called the World Winning Flashpoint series. On the end here i got my other partner from another. Jante May, a dance choreographer. To my left, I've got my friend over here, Adam Butcher, who stars in a show called Played. You might have seen him in a movie called The Dog Pound. And on the very end, this man leads our introduction, my brother from down under, Daniel Goddard, who stars as Kane Ashby on the end of the restless. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I gotta look at the menu, hang on, oh, I'll get in trouble. And I'm not gonna get in trouble this weekend, that's my, that's my goal. I know. I'm working hard at it, trust me. <laughs> well, wait, 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 this first question, we'll all we'll start from left to right. This first question goes out to Daniel. If you were not acting, what would you be doing? Uh, if I wasn't acting, the reason I actually chose um, acting as a career is because it allowed me to do more than just one thing. Because I kind of thought, well, I want to do that. Well, I want to do that. Well, I like that too. Um, my other top three choices would be. Um, Bank robber. Who yeah. <laughs> doesn't get caught? No. Um, like an ER doctor, I think would be interesting. Um, so I get some friends who are trauma surgeons and I hear their life stories and their days. And it's, it's, always, it's always fascinating. Um, a photojournalist, because I always like photography and I always like to travel. Um, I like to go to like, the war zones and do um, photojournalism. Um, and the other one is uh, I'd like to direct one day, which is kind of what I'm gearing my life towards now. Um, so. Uh, I, I'd like to direct, which is probably, I think, what I'd like to So this next question goes out to uh, Dean Armstrong. Many of you guys might not know, Dean owns uh, one of the top acting schools in all of Toronto called Armstrong Studios. So if you ever wanted to become an actor, a director, a producer, this is the man you want to talk to you and see. You gotta check out his school, it's armstrongstudios.ca. ArsenalActingStudios.ca online, so you guys can check that out. So Dean, having worked in many, many films such as Saw 3D and as well television, what would you say the differences for you as an actor are the most challenging, film work or TV work? Um, hi everybody, how are you? Everyone's uh, out last night as well? Yeah, till, till 6 o'clock this morning I hear? <laughs> Yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> um, it, it's, it's great to see everybody, um, and, and thank you uh, for having me. Um, this, is, this is a big question, an interesting question. I mean, I think, uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, as actors, we kind of aspire to those opportunities that, that present themselves in the world of television. Um, I think to secure uh, a job as a leading actor in the series uh, really, um, it really has its advantages. Uh, consistency in employment is always great. Um, also, uh, for, for those actors who have families and you're not uprooting people and you're not away from family too often, when you actually ground yourself and have uh, the ability to uh, work on a show for a period of time, it can be quite nice. Uh, also, to evolve with a character, I think, um, in series work is, is quite exciting. Uh, that you're not, uh, is, especially when you, you land recurring on a series or a series regular role, uh, and you evolve with that uh, that character and you go on that journey through season one through hopefully five or whatever it might be. Uh, feature work's exciting, it's a different style of performance. I think it's important to know as an actor uh, when you are in that audition process uh, the difference in that style of acting going into the room. Um, you know, it, it's also an exciting journey to be able to uh, like grow with the character over the, the duration of that specific storytelling. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, television today is very different uh, than it was um, a decade ago, two decades ago for certain. Uh, there's some extraordinary TV, and I would argue that a lot of the television that's out there today, uh, that we see on HBO, AMC, FX, Showtime, um, truly um, 
truly exceeds over a, a lot of the, the feature work that we do see. A lot of those big Hollywood pictures which uh, uh, fall short in the context of a lot of the storylines, interesting characters and the like. Um, so, uh, uh, TV for me is really, uh, is really where it's at. Um, and, uh, I mean, I'm not going to turn down any feature work. That's for sure. I'm not going to turn down any work. But, um, that would, that, that would be my, that would be my answer. Do you guys want to order? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 